Now, when it comes to Marvel Snap, there's definitely a lot of fun to be had, but there's some frustrating moments too. And I think one of the most frustrating aspects of the game for a lot of players is trying to win Infinity Conquest, especially for those players that haven't gotten their first Infinity Border yet, or they've got a brand new avatar that they really got their eye on. They'd like to get that sexy border around it. I get it. So today we're going to talk about a couple decks that I think give you the best opportunity to get that perfect run to go 5-0. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Now the first deck that we're going to talk about on my most recommended list for Infinity Conquest is none other than Sarah Tech. And the reason for that is it's just a very flexible deck because one of the biggest factors in winning Infinity Conquest is just how lucky can you get and what i mean by that is you need to go five and oh without queuing into a really bad matchup where you're just highly unfavored dead in the water from the start and i think sarah gives you the most flexibility to go up against any deck you've got a lot of tech cards to answer anything that you see so let's go ahead and talk about this card by card now our first card in the list and our first tech card is shadow king who still has a lot of value in today's meta there's still a lot of destroy out there uh, i think destroy is probably sarah's best matchup you have a tech card for just about every lane right also if you run into thanos or another deck that is running blob you can reset that power all the way back down to zero so definitely a card you want to have in your inventory Next up, we are running a lot of four costs, so you know we gotta be running Zabu. You gotta have him in here. Now we do have Quake, who I think is probably one of the most fun cards since her buff a month or two back. And not only is she fun, she's got a lot of utility. She can really catch your opponent off guard. Rarely do your opponents ever play around a Quake play. And that's why I like to have her. She is low cost, but definitely a good value and can really sneak some cubes out from your opponent. Next up, we are running the Maximus, who's just a good power to cost ratio. Now you don't want to play this card out early. In fact, you're trying to play him on the last turn of the game card draw is very important if you're coming up against hella or tribunal or what have you you definitely don't want to be giving them the cards that they're looking for so please unless you're just in a dire situation do not play this card out early you do not play this on turn two this is a turn six into the game card a lot of value a lot of stats but don't play them early please now our next tech card is killmonger who also has some value against destroy because if they have priority going into the final turn and they're going to play a massive deadpool you can get rid of that with your killmonger but this is mainly for your thanos matchups if you're able to get killmonger down before they get their kyara you can just erase away all of their stones is a huge swing in that matchup our next tech card really just helps to keep some of your opponents in check playing against a thanos i think the most popular thing you're going to see is you're able to keep them from being able to play out a very cheap scar but in your matchups against loki this is incredible against quinjet and loki they're not able to play out all those cheated out cards definitely help you win those matchups got to keep him in the deck now this next card is a card i go back and forth on depending on the day some days i love him some days i hate him in today's meta yes there's a lot of massive cards between playing against hella and thanos and oftentimes you may pull something big out that you don't destroy but the good thing is, is we are running Shang-Chi, so we can blow it up. We can back up that Gladiator. Now, as I just mentioned, we are running Shang-Chi. You need this card in just about every deck. There's just so many massive cards. And I think one of your worst matchups is definitely going to be Hela, right? Because she's just going to go over the top of you. But if for some reason she's got priority on the final turn over you, Shang-Chi will probably win a lane all on his own. But oftentimes when you're playing Hela, you are the one with priority. So that's probably your worst matchup. It's going to be hard to win that one. And there's definitely a lot of Hela, but you just can't win them all. Now we are running Miss Marvel. Like I said, this is probably one of the best stats you have for being able to play her out for three costs. You're going to be essentially putting out 14 power on the board. Very easy to activate her in this list. All around good solid card. Now this next set card is the one I think is the most important to have in your deck when you're playing Infinity Conquest. And you might be saying, Perry, why Enchantress the most important? I'll tell you why because i have never once went five and oh or played an infinity conquest where i didn't match up at least once at least once against living tribunal and if you don't have enchanters you are probably dead in the water it's such a terrible feeling watching them put out all those stats and you're just sitting there with nothing to do you need enchanters to shut off all their ongoing abilities you need to be playing a deck that's got enchanters and obviously sarah tech we're running her 
now we are running sarah because that's what the list is called right sarah tech this just allows you to play out a lot of stats a lot of cards on the final turn like i said if you're playing sarah and you have zabu out you can play your four cost cards for two and don't worry about that kyra that your thanos player has down on the board you can hit it with the enchantress and then you can hit shang chi and you can play something else if you want or maximus having sarah and zabu so many stats so many things you can do on the final turn gotta have her in her love her to die and then ultimately we are running legion this is another good card to have against the she not list or like i said the living tribunal to shut off those limbo plays or just catch your opponent off guard kind of like quick changing the locations to be in your favor just a card that i love to have in my deck good stats and like i said can definitely catch your opponents off guard now the second deck we're going to talk about is loki and if you notice it's very similar to the sarah tech list and it's for good reason inside of infinity conquest you just want to have all those answers to your opponent's plays so we are running the shadow king the shang chi the enchantress but with loki i think you have a little bit higher power ceiling potential in the way of the, if your opponent is playing good cards that you want to have you play out the quinjet you play out the loki and then you're just able to go over the top of them with their own cards by playing them out for cheaper if you have you know priority on that final turn you can play the alive out to just completely disregard your opponent's final play you also have a lot of unpredictability with loki which is always good inside of conquest because your opponent doesn't know what cards you got if you're playing against destroy they don't know if you got your own null or free death you know so that is always good especially when it comes to snapping and your opponent not feeling very confident in their plays and then you just have a lot of good solid cards in the list you've got the agent colson the gladiator now i do go back and forth like i said with gladiator i've thought about playing cole here i've tried it and it's definitely solid there's a lot of different ways to build loki you can run a devil dino or other card generators but I do like having the three main tech cards, like I said, Shadow King, Shang-Chi, and Enchantress. And then I just kind of built around it, and this is kind of where I've stopped, had a lot of success with this list. So if you're not wanting to play the Sarah Tech list, if you like playing Loki, this is another solid list here. As always, the hardest decision is always going to be, are you playing Loki or not that round? There's going to be rounds where you do, and then obviously rounds where you can't play them because those crucial tech cards that you need are sitting in your hand, and that's okay like i said flexibility is really what you want when it comes to infinity conquest because you just don't know what you're going to get mashed up against now y'all know i can't finish out the recommendations list without talking about hella we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about her she's everywhere she's one of probably the most popular deck right now maybe even the strongest deck right now and there's not a whole lot your opponents can do about it they can you know guess right with a cosmo and a live that's kind of hard to do and you're just able to put out so much power unpredictable power because you don't know where it's going your opponents don't know where it's going and it's really just not that hard to achieve with this list it is built to be extremely consistent and it is now you might say well, why is it your third recommendation if it's you know one of the best decks in the game as i said at the beginning of the video you always run up against living tribunal and living tribunal can go over the top of you you have no way of interacting with them outside of playing silver samurai and hopefully hitting their iron man if they get that limbo down you're going to a turn seven they're just going to put out so much dang power and i've noticed that in a lot of games that go to turn seven your blob just ends up being infinitely weaker because either you get him out on turn six and he's big but you discard basically the rest of your deck by doing that so you have nothing to play on turn seven or you get him out on turn seven with the hella but there's nothing really left in your deck so he ends up being like seven power he's got nothing to really hit so in those living tribunal matches i've just found that they just walk all over me and if i know anything i'm gonna see at least one in infinity conquest and you probably will too so if you don't want to play the sarah or the loki this is probably one of your better options but just know you're either gonna have a mirror match which is never any fun or you may just hit that living tribunal and and you're gonna hate your life and be you know super frustrated so with all that aside we are gonna jump into some gameplay footage y'all let me know down in the comments though what are y'all gonna be playing what are y'all gonna be taking into infinity conquest it's gonna be one of these decks here you got some secret sauce you'll be playing thanos are you one of those evil living tribunal players y'all let me know but as always gang y'all be good y'all be safe i will see y'all in the next episode good luck out there don't get frustrated i hope you get that sexy border for that avatar you want and I'll see you in the next one. Also, like and subscribe, duh. Sandman. Do we do we think he's playing Sandman? Bar with no name.
We've got Quake. We've got Legion. Oh, he's in trouble. He can't determine where his stuff's gonna go. Oh, and we got the Legion. Oh. Yeah, yeah All right, so this is probably our worst matchup Unfortunately, it's probably our worst matchup Gladiator may hurt us May help us. It might be disruptive if we could hit like Their lady sif and it hits their hella, you know We're just gonna have to hope that we get a shang chi Interesting This isn't that great for him, in my opinion. We have a Shang-Chi, too. Ooh. I want to snap here to be super aggressive, if I'm being realistic. We've got the Shang-Chi. If I pull something big, I just let it sit. That way I don't take priority. We're going to chill, though. We're going to chill. See what we get off the gladiator. Okay, at least it wasn't my Shang Chi. Uh oh. Well, we got the Hella. So let's just go ahead and snap there. <laughs> I have a pretty thin deck there, and 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 no Hella. He really let it go, huh? I'm going to change this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to change this. So, I mean... And we're gonna do this, this, and this, and this. Is, is that blob? You're only gonna get one of those, though, man. <laughs> all right. Looking all right against the Hella deck. We're doing okay. We're doing all right. All right, what we got? A hella player? No. What do we got? She not? Maybe. We do have, you know, Shadow King Killmonger. So that's good. Um. Swap that. Interesting. I think we're definitely going to get the Mobius out here. I don't know if there's like some moon girl, you know, She-Hulk stuff. Just looks like a lot of one drops. Good thing for us we're running Killmonger, you know? If we pull something big, we fill her up. Yeah, we're playing against a zoo. Nice. We play over here because we don't want to have priority next turn. But I think we want to actually hold this. Because it's good stats and I don't want to put those like over here. So 
Got one chance to show him we got Killmonger, you know? Or he leaves here and doesn't know we've got... Okay. Oh, he's got another one. Interesting. I guess we want to do this. I think he sticks around here. He sticks around and finds out. Oh boy, this has definitely got to be some Black Swan stuff. We're going to get him here. Maybe a little bit harder after this though. Might be a little bit harder. So I'm telling you, you never know what you're going to run up to in these, these conquest matches. I've done it this whole, this whole match. All right, we got Killmonger again. We can not afford to have priority on the final turn. Listen to yourself, Perry. Don't do anything. Don't do anything that gets you priority. I'm, I'm only playing this. I'm not playing anything else. It's fine. Okay. All right. We're, we're okay right now. We're okay right now. Okay. Perfect. And we hit it with Mobius at the right time. Although I don't think they would have played this turn. You know? Is there anything I can do that d doesn't give me priority? <laughs> I'm just floating this turn. Okay. Now we're talking. I need something that is less than... This is only nine. Oh, he floated again. He was really trying not to have that priority. I don't think it matters where I play the gladiator. I feel like I have to play for all three lanes. He plays a bunch of ones, and wherever he plays the hit monkey, he wins. We got him. <laughs> Just had to not, just had to not, you know, one time not have priority. It's a very simple concept, but hard for me to just execute. Oh my God. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. <laughs> <laughs> 